Hello, my name is Kate Jones and I'm the program director for the nursing informatics program here at the College of Nursing at the University of South Carolina. With me today is Harmony Robinson. Harmony is the director of nursing informatics for Prisma Health System here in South Carolina. I asked Harmony to come today so that we could talk a little bit about this growing specialty of nursing informatics. So you're the perfect person to be here to uh, tell us about nursing informatics, the role, and what nurses who specialize in informatics do. You're a certified nursing informaticist yourself. So can you tell us a little bit about the role of informaticists in today's healthcare systems? Sure, well, thank you for having me. I appreciate uh, the time today and love talking about nursing informatics. And uh, when you think about nursing informatics, uh, it really takes nursing science and analytical and information sciences and and combines them all together and really puts together a framework for how we support patient care at the bedside and um, how we can support nurses in, in their daily work. And so nursing informaticists are really weaved into healthcare systems in a variety of different roles and places, many of which you wouldn't traditionally think about. Um, the first I can think about would be like with your electronic medical record. That's one of the first things that we see um, a traditional role for nursing informatics where they're involved at looking at how the documentation supports nursing practice at the bed bedside, how it aligns with policy, um, what the implications are for workflow, um, reporting, etc. But there's a lot of other areas that nursing informatics or nursing informaticists can be involved in um, with the growing number of technologies that are being brought in to support healthcare in general. Um, we have a lot of virtual care that's being done. So um, provider virtual visits on the acute care side, ambulatory side, and we have nursing informatics involved in a lot of our regulatory and reporting agencies, whether it's in how we capture the data or rep visually represent the data or how it's being submitted to registries. Um, we also have nursing informaticists involved in um, what technology is doing in terms of patient experience. So are we, how are we rounding on our patients? You know, what information are we collecting from that? And then what tools are we presenting to our patients so that they can interface with the organization? So scheduling appointments and doing those types of things from apps, which, you know, 20 years ago wasn't mainstream and now is really becoming the, the way to do things um, more easily and more efficiently. Wow. So that scope is quite broad, right? <laughs> yes. So um, I did a quick search on Indeed.com and I looked for um, RN um, informaticist roles. And there were several different job opportunities mm. that, that popped up, but I'm curious what you would tell us are the jobs that nurse informaticists might hold. Yeah, so a variety of different titles, I think you'll see when you look for a job search for um, nursing informaticists or people that possess the skills and certifications of nursing informaticists. Um, a lot of times you'll see clinical informatics, um, nursing informaticists, healthcare informaticists. Sometimes you'll see specialty type roles like a data integration or device um clinical device deployment. There's a lot of different roles that are out there. And when you think about it, it's kind of like when a nurse becomes a nurse and she can be labor and delivery or acute uh, critical care, med surge, ambulatory. When, when you're thinking about nursing informatics, you really have to think about what is it that I enjoy doing? You know, do I enjoy spending my time with data? You may want to look for a data analytics position um, if they enjoy spending time with workflow, efficiency, and optimization. You may want to steer more towards a clinical informatics or uh, nursing informatics position. I think my recommendation for people would be to you know, know what excites you and then really thoroughly read through the job descriptions and requirements to see if you feel like it's something that's going to fit you because uh, they are hidden out there <laughs> in a variety of different job titles. Okay, so that, that's really helpful. Mm -hmm. But if you think about when a nurse goes to work, she or he wants to make a difference in patient outcomes. So with those jobs that you described, does a nurse still get to do that? Oh, absolutely. I think it's really exciting to think about how you can impact patient outcomes as a nursing informaticist. 
Um, many times it's on a larger scale. Um, you're not focusing on a patient assignment, but you may be focusing on a generalized patient population or all the patients in the entire organization. A good example of that would be um, care for the patient with sepsis. So, you know, we have order sets that nursing informatics is involved in supporting as well as clinical decision support to help move patients along care pathways. We have automated risk scores and we've embedded those into the workflows for nursing and providers. And that really impacts the outcomes for all patients admitted to the organization with sepsis. So I think when you think about the opportunity for being involved in patient outcomes, it just looks different, but you still know at the end of the day that you're able to have a tremendous impact on patient outcomes, um, and, and many times um, on a larger scale than you would have had um, in other work. So that's um, interesting that you talk about still being able to impact patient outcomes in a positive way. Um, I think that's important for mm -hmm. nurses to know because a lot of times we, we do hear nurses say they don't want to leave the bedside, but there are nurse informaticists at the bedside. Right. That's awesome. So um, my next question is about certification. So I mentioned earlier that you're a certified nursing informaticist. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that certification process. How difficult is it? Is, uh, w <laughs> what's necessary to become certified? Well, it's definitely one of my accomplishments that I'm most proud of. Um, the ANCC clearly outlines the um, criteria for eligibility uh, in terms of attending a program like the program here, the Master's in Nursing Informatics with practicum hours would make you eligible um, to sit for the exam. There's other criteria that they have clearly outlined, but um, any um, program with the informatics uh, component where you have your practicum hours, so your master's program or certificate program, would make you eligible to sit for the exam. And it wasn't easy, uh, but it was definitely worth it. I think today, um, employers are looking for that. People are really looking to know that you're serious about your role in informatics and that there is some formal training um, and that you can demonstrate that you've obtained those skills. And there's a lot of resources out there to help you prepare for it. Um, and, and they do a great job of, you know, letting you know the different um, domains and, and things that are going to be involved in the different um, things that you would want to focus on prior to so that you're prepared. So I'd say um, not easy, uh, but definitely worth it. Oh, well, that's great to know. Um, so my last question for you is this. Um, what excites you? about nursing informatics as you think about, you know, the future of nursing informatics, what, what gets you excited? Well, that might be my favorite question so far. I think the exciting thing about nursing informatics is that there's not really just one formula, that everything is changing in healthcare and technology so quickly. So there's so many opportunities to be involved in helping to support patient care. Um, we, like I mentioned earlier, you know, the transitions into the virtual care space, which many people have tried to do for a long time and has been expedited, you know, recently by COVID, but looking at how do we as nursing informaticists get involved in better supporting that so that we can maybe have physician consults in, in areas where, um, rural areas where they don't have that service provided. I recently been involved in, in remote ICU projects and there's companies out there that are developing virtual nursing platforms where the nurses are virtual to help support, you know, other um, direct patient care nurses. So I think looking at the scope of what's to come in the future and um, moving forward with um, identifying the best practice workflows and how we can really be as efficient as possible and use technology to our benefit for the nurses and, and really the entire care team um, to provide the best patient care and ultimately impact outcomes. And so uh, possibilities and are endless. That's what really excites me. I think when we look at all of the different tools that will likely be coming our way, mobile applications to support integrations that bring together um, information from the um, health record to our call light systems to our um, communication strategies. So just 
a lot of different opportunities out there that I think we can um, look forward to and be excited about within nursing informatics. So that's, uh, I agree with you. It's very exciting <laughs> and so many opportunities that I hope that those who had an opportunity to listen to Harmony today um, really start to get a sense of what the possibilities are in nursing informatics. And if you have an interest in nursing informatics, I would encourage you to take a look at our website and look at, we have both a master's degree in nursing informatics as well as a postgraduate certificate that are both available here at the College of Nursing. So I look forward, hopefully, to welcoming you to uh, Gamecock Nursing Nation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, Harmony looks forward to welcoming you to the world of nursing informatics. So thank you for being here today. Thank you.